Hi, this is your coach Kavita Sharma and uh, today's topic is configuration management. Now what is it? A configuration management system is a collection of procedures used to track project artifact and monitor and control changes to these artifact. This is a definition taken from PMBOK. Um, let me explain what is it and where do you use it. Um, you might have used it all the time. Do you have a lot of, um, you work in a project and you have a, you have a document called project plan. This document has versions, right? This document has version 1, 1 1.2, 2.0 and so on. PMBOK has versions. Um, PMBOK has, which version PMBOK has going on right now? 6. Um, similarly, there are minutes of meetings, uh, dated minutes of meeting, there are um, other deliverables or other artifacts, specifically code. Um, does it make sense that a code page which is let's say register.aspx or whichever um, language you are using, um, this registration page is worked upon by a person called A. Um, so this person can change the um, content of register page. Another person who is C can also, this person is only the reviewer or this person is not even in this team. He's a tester. Uh, does it make sense that this guy have access to register.asp to change the content? It does not make sense. So for me as a project manager, similarly, as a, if I am the owner of the project plan, I release the new plan. I am the one who can modify the plans. I am the project manager. Can somebody else, let's say there is this person A, very naughty, he goes and change the project plan dates. Uh, in case he has right, people can. Some people can delete your content. So does it make sense that all these artifacts which your team uses are put in open for people. You don't do that. You always have some kind of restrictions on these artifacts. So ensuring that all these artifacts are safe and secure and right access is given to the right people. Right naming conventions are uh, put in, in place. Those are the things which I'm going to write in the configuration management. So how does this, how does this work? Um, typically, it starts off with identifications of the CI. I identify. I, I what is a CI? Configurable item. Uh, the items like project plan. I need to be able to write. Other people should be able to read. Um, so this start off with finding out what are those items which you really want to secure. Um, so we can begin with plans, all moms, um, code and so on. So these becomes my CIs and the list goes on whatever you think you want to write them. Um, there has to be some kind of tool to which you're going to be using in case um, the organization does not have any tool. We typically use file servers. Um, in file servers, there is a directory with the project name or project code and then we have plans, documents, test, test results and so on. These kind of directories are made. Um, in case we have a SharePoint server, we kind of create our portal for our project and then under that we have different files listed. In case you have any other tool, we do that using a tool. Um, so that is one. So we find out what are those configurable items. We find out what is the tool which we're going to use. We also write down that we, we are writing all of this right now in configuration management plan. We also write down as to what is the naming convention of files. Um, why are naming convention important? It is important so that you can identify the artifact directly. Um, for example, in case we are talking about, let's say, you know, um, my sc I am talking about 2021 changes to all the PPTs. Typically, I would name it as a version. Either I say 2021 or sorry, either I would say 2021 and then 
PM Buck or I would write PM Buck. So my mind travels faster than whatever I'm writing. And then either I say version 1.2 or I write whatever is the naming convention. It makes sense that the naming conventions are um, easy to locate your items. For example, typically a naming convention of any project would be a project name and then the type of the document and then in case it's a major version then you would write version in case it's a minor version then a dot and then that number so this is how typically the um, naming convention follows so you write down the naming convention as who's anybody who's gonna be writing a piece of code typically should write uh, the code around that um, in case somebody is producing test results so again project plan a project name and then the test result and then the version whatever uh, makes sense so this is at the time of planning now after we plan I'm gonna talk about that I'm gonna ensure that there is somebody called CI configurable a uh, configuration in charge this in charge would ensure that in the tool right people have right access so he would create directories and give access to people. Um, so this falls under configuration accounting. Whenever somebody asks for a particular, you know, access on a particular directory, there might be an approval process. This guy asks the approver, which could be project manager or somebody, or somebody junior, and uh, allocate the right the right access to these people. Um, Sometimes configuration accounting would also refer to assets. For example, I have, I might want to shift to a different location. So how many chairs do I have? So I would, I would count for them. So I am going to be in con configuration accounting. I'm going to count how many assets do, have, do I have, what type of assets do I have, who has the permissions, which floor, what assets. So this is um, accounting wherein I know who has what access, how many uh, CIs are there and so on. Now this is a normal process. It should go on. But management want to also know whether the right access is given to right people or not. So there are audits which would fall in place maybe once a month or once in a quarter. Auditors are external eyes who's going to come and check whether um, the naming conventions are correct, whether right people have the right access or not. So we verify, the senior management verifies whether you are doing the right things or not. Um, this I spoke about configurable items, uh, project managers, select the items, plans, minutes of meeting, any document, any uh, manual, um, all of that. So this is for digital assets. What about physical assets? Do we do um, configuration management for physical assets as well? If you kind of see there is, you know, access control, eyes or um access cards or your thumbprints is it a mechanism to ensure that right people have access to the right places this is also so these places and the items under that are configurable items and somebody had ensured that physical access is restricted um, so that is also configuration management as I told you, change control would have versions to it. What if, think about code, you know, um, there is code version um, rollout before X features has taken place. Um, so there were a lot of people have worked on it and then it is labeled as 1.2 with the feature name called X. Another person came in, this person does not know, he check out from this library and check in in the same label. The entire build fails. Is this what you want? You don't want that. So you would want to ensure that versions are maintained, right build is at the right places. So there is a change control system which needs to be in place. The changes are locked and the changes are labeled so that Whenever we roll out this version, it is the right version which is rolled out. 
a uh, lot of tools allow you um, this kind of uh, restriction or flexibility. Configuration accounting, as I told you, the configuration in charge based on the request. This gives the access or does not give the access to the CIs. Um, think it um, like a librarian. So there are a lot of books here. The librarian looks at what is the request, if it is available, gonna give it to these people or not, and then update the item. So this is configuration accounting. Audits third set of eyes comes and check what's going on in your project these set of eyes give report to portfolio manager to ensure to tell them what is going on in your project so audits are always um, a weapon or a tool by portfolio manager to see what's going on in the project so they come check and uh, share the best practices and ensure that you as a project manager is managing the configurable items rightly. So I hope you got to know the concept. Let's do a match, mix and match to understand whether you got it right or not. So um, the left hand side is the activity which is done, right hand side is the description. Um, so find out what is what role which manages the access as per the configuration management plan what is that so goes to configuration in charge or configuration manager project plan and meeting minutes what are these these are configurable items identifying all documents and physical location to determine right access and location what is it called it falls under planning for configurable configuration management someone checking if the team member has only read access on the project plan um, so third set of eyes checking or happens in audit wherein whatever the access right which are mentioned whether they have been implemented or not great you did good um, thank you for listening in to me. My name is Kavita Sharma and you can reach out to me at kavita at kavitasharma.net. In case you want to enroll for PMP workshop or any other workshop, you can reach out to me at kavitasharma.net. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.